Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a bookshelf tour. I recently reorganized my shelves because I got gift cards for Christmas, so I've just been buying only books. So I had a lot of new books that I had to organize on my shelves and they were looking a hot mess. So I had to reorganize my shelves and I am so happy with how this one turned out. I have two bookshelves. I have this one here and then I have another one over there next to my door which is not my favorite shelf because it's a lot of random books but I, I'm obsessed with this shelf like I'm so happy with how it turned out like I just think that it looks so cute and I love a lot of the books on this shelf and I just think it's really pleasing to look at like <laughs> I'm so happy with how it turned out but yeah this is my favorite shelf because all my favorites are on it and it, as you can like kind of see <laughs> It looks really cute and colorful and this is my preferred way to like record my booktube videos like with this shelf because I can just sit here on the floor and it's just more comfortable so this is like my booktube backdrop also and it's also my nightstand so yeah I really love this bookshelf <laughs> it looks it looks really cute so yeah I love watching bookshelf tours on YouTube like I'll just like binge watch bookshelf tours because I'm so nosy and I like seeing what other books what books other people have so yeah I'm making my own bookshelf tour because I just want I just wanted to show people the books that I have and I have a decent amount surprisingly like I didn't realize I had this many books until I started organizing them so yeah this intro is a million years long so if you want to see my bookshelf tour then keep on watching so this is what the top of my shelf looks like. I just have a Harry Styles Rolling Stone magazine because I love Harry Styles, obviously. And then I have this super cute Baby Yoda Squishmallow. And then next to that I have this Stranger Things mug that says mornings are for coffee and contemplation. And in it I just have like some random TV remotes and the remote for my fairy lights. And it also conveniently covers the that's why i have that there and then here i have my google home which is actually unplugged because it randomly like activates and it scares me so much so yeah that's unplugged and then next to that i have this little picture frame that i made of me and my boyfriend and next to that i have this candle that my boyfriend gave me for christmas which looks like so nice like it's the nicest candle i've ever seen it has my birthday on it which is july 19th and it just says the day of like the hypnotic dancer and like my ruling number cancer leo cusp and then there's my little constellation and it's just such a nice candle and also smells like rose chamomile and ylang-ylang and that is like my favorite scent ever like it smells so good and this is what the back looks like it just has like all of this like super cool information on it like this is such a beautiful candle i'm actually not going to burn this candle because i just think it looks like so nice so i don't want to like ruin it by burning it like i just want to keep it on display forever because it's just so beautiful like this is the nicest candle i've ever gotten and it's just like it's personal and it's just so cute like i love this oh and i also have this wooden coaster here from target it's like half wood, half marble, and it just sits over here where I put my water bottle at night. And that's everything I have on top of my bookshelf. So this is my very first shelf on this bookshelf, and it has all of my LGBT plus books. And for the little trinkets, I have a bi flag and then just a gay pride flag here. Since it is my LGBT shelf, I like having these flags there. And then I have this little, I don't know what these are called, this, the little cupcake toppers. Whatever, the, whatever those are called. I have two of those actually. I have a rainbow one and a baby Yoda one and I just think they're so cute. So I just have those at the top. And then I have this random yo-yo. <laughs> I just think it looks nice for some reason. And then I have this little dish which just has like a bunch of like little like random earring backings and stuff. And then lastly I have this lighter. To light the candle that I'm never going to burn. The first book I have on my shelf is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson and there is like a bookmark in it. It's a random like it's a ticket from Hamilton. <laughs> I use random things as bookmarks but I started reading this book but then I just put it down because I don't know why <laughs> but I do want to get to reading this book soon and the cover is so pretty. 
And then I have I Would Leave Me If I Could, a collection of poetry by Halsey, and this is actually the Target exclusive edition. So this is what the cover looks like, and then under it, it looks like this. It's just a plain white with red lettering. I think it looks really nice. And then I actually tabbed all of, like a lot of the poems. So the blue tabs are for the Manic album, the pink ones are for Badlands, the yellow ones are for Hopeless Haunted Kingdom, and the green ones are for the poems that like resonated with me the most or that I really liked. And then I have Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, and this is one of my favorite books of all time. I think I reread it like three or four times, and I have seen the movie. The movie's not the best, there's some issues with it, but I think it's good. But yeah, this is the first book by Becky Albertalli that I have, and you'll see that I have a lot of books by her because she is one of my favorite authors. Fun fact, when the Love, Simon movie first came out, it was first announced, I actually did a makeup look that was inspired by it and I posted it on Twitter and I tagged Becky Albertalli and she actually saw it and like she replied to me and it was just a really, a really nice moment. So yeah, I do cherish the Love, Simon like series because of that and I don't know, it's just, it's just something really special to me. Next I have Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston and this is one of my favorite books of all time once again. It's such a cute enemies to lovers romance. The chapters are a bit long which I don't really like but the story is just so cute and when I reread it the second time I was just so excited reading it because it just makes me so happy so yeah this is another one of my favorite books. Then I have The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta which I got recently so I have not read it yet. Next I have What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. Two of my favorite authors wrote a book together and this was not another really cute story. I love everything that Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera write and this was just such a cute little story. This is actually the first book that I read last year when I was trying to get out of my reading slump and it was such a cute, very quick read so I really enjoyed this one. Then I have Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I have not read this one either. The Nowhere Girls by Amy Reed is another one of my favorite books. I read it last year and it's such a powerful feminist like girl power story. I really enjoyed this one and the cover is really pretty. Then I have the Love Creekwood Simonverse novella by Becky Albertalli. This is the last book in the whole Simonverse series. It's just a cute little novella that talks about the characters just like, like real text messages and little stories from their experiences in like college and I thought this was really cute and I was really sad reading it because it meant that it was the end of the Simon verse but I just thought it was a cute way to wrap up the series. Then I have The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I really enjoyed this book as well. The writing in this was so beautiful and like lyrical like I really enjoyed the writing in this book and it was such a beautiful story. And then I have two more books by Becky Albertalli. I have Leah on the Offbeat and The Upside of Unrequited and I really enjoyed both of these books as well. This one is Only Mostly Devastated by Sophie Gonzalez and I thought this book was so cute. It's kind of like Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda meets Clueless or Grease and it was just a really cute like summer romance. I also enjoyed this book as well. Then I have All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. I haven't read this book yet because I got it recently, but I just know that it's a memoir and I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Then I have another book by Adam Silvera. This is They Both Die at the End, which was such a good book. It was such a such a powerful story and it was just so cute and the ending had me in shambles. <laughs> like I was a mess reading the ending because the two characters have this song, which is Your Song by Elton John, and I was listening to that while reading the ending and I was a disaster <laughs> but I love this book because it is personalized by Adam Silvera. I saw that a publisher or a bookstore they were doing this thing where if you bought the book and you left like a little message then Adam Silvera will sign it and like personalize it for you and this is what mine looks like. <laughs> I love it so much. It just says Caitlin thank you for reading. So happy to hear that your song touched your heart too and the signature at the bottom and I cherish this book so much because of that like this is the only personalized book that I do have that that's signed and it's just really special to me and then he also wrote this on the next page which I think is really funny next I have Aristotle and Dante discovering the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Adiri Sons and I also really enjoyed this book as well I've read a lot of the books 
on this shelf but this is just such a cute story and I really enjoyed it. And I haven't read The Inexplicable Logic of My Life but I do want to get around to it soon. Then I have My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows and I have not read this book yet but I just noticed that the pages look like this. Like they're all like uneven. I don't, I don't know if you can tell but the pages are like uneven which I don't find the look of it actually but I just noticed that like why does it look like that? Then I have Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas which I haven't read either. Next I have These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling which I got really recently so I haven't read it yet either but all I know is that it's a sapphic witch story so I'm very excited to read this one. The last book I have on this shelf is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid and she's another one of my favorite authors. I really enjoyed Daisy Jones and the Six but Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo it was such a cool story and it, I really enjoyed it and I really want to reread it. So those are all of the books that I have on my LGBT plus shelf and I tried doing it in rainbow order. It's not the best but I really enjoy how all the colors look. I just think it looks so bright and fun. Like I really like this shelf. This is the second shelf and it just has like a combination of romance and contemporaries and it's mostly just books that I just thought looked nice together like I really enjoy the colors on this shelf as well. For the trinkets I have the little box that the candle that my boyfriend gave me came in like it's just such a nice box like it's so detailed on all sides like it's so cool so I wanted to keep this box and put it as decoration. Then I have this little plant that I got from the Target dollar section a while ago. This is a domino that I got in I think like middle or high school it just has um, Princess Ariel on one side and then Princess Jasmine on the other and I just think it's cute. And then I have these two bracelets which are kind of iconic because I feel like these bracelets were so popular in like the 2010s maybe or like 2015 I'm not sure but I got this one at a Disney park because there's a little mini on here and this one I might have gotten at like Bush Gardens but yeah these just have my name on them and I just think they look cute on my shelf. Then I have this little box which has nothing in it. Then I have this camera, disposable camera, that I got at the Wallows concert, which is actually the last concert I went to last year before the world shut down. So yeah, I just think it looks cute on my shelf, so that's why I haven't actually used this camera. The first book I have on this shelf is Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed, and I have not read this yet either, but I know that it's about performative activism, and it has a really interesting concept, so I'm really excited to read this one. Then I have The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett, and I'm very excited to read this one as well because it has such an interesting premise. Basically, there's two twins that when after they grow up, they go their own separate ways and one of them lives her life as a black woman and then the other one lives her life kind of like a white woman. So I just think that's really interesting. So I'm very excited to read this one. Then I have Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng and I'm very excited to read this book as well. I know that there's a TV show which I do want to watch but I want to read the book first and see how it is so I'm very excited to read this one. Then I have Wonder by RJ Palacio which I got at Goodwill for like three bucks and this book came out a while ago and I wanted to read it when it first came out but I never got around to it so maybe I'll eventually read it. Then I have Verona Comics by Jennifer Dugan which was a really cute like romance. It was kind of Romeo and Juliet-ish like there were two feuding families that own comic book shops I believe and I thought this was really cute and it did have some mental health representation which even though I'm not that I don't know that much about mental health I think that it was done I think it was done well. Then I have Thanks for the Trouble by Tommy Wallach which I have not read. I'm just gonna say the names of the books that I have next because I haven't read any of them so I have This Song Will Save Your Life by Leila Sales, The Young Honeymooners by Christina Lauren, the Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang, Beach Read by Emily Henry, One to Watch by Kate Stamen London, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which is one of my favorite books of all time. I listened to it on audiobook and it had me in shambles. Like this was such, such a good book. I, I love this one. Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. And then I have The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, which I really enjoyed the movie but I have not read the book yet. And this is the, I believe it's the UK paperback and I really like this cover, I just think it's so nice. And then I have the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series by Jenny Han, 
to all the boys I've loved before, which I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was really cute. And then there's P.S. I Still Love You and Always and Forever Lara Jean, which I didn't really enjoy the last two books. I feel like they were a little bit pointless. Like, I feel like the book could have been a standalone, but yeah, out of all of these three books, I really enjoyed the first one the most. Oh, and I am Team John Ambrose, of course. And this is the final shelf on this bookshelf, which just has my fantasy books on it. And for the trinkets, I just have these really random little crystals and another one of these little dishes. And then I have my Violet Funko Pop from The Incredibles. She is my favorite character from The Incredibles. And then I have this fan. It just looks like this, like there's nothing, nothing special. I just thought it looked nice and oh my god, I never know how to close this. Okay. <laughs> First I have the Six of Crows duology by Leigh Bardugo. Six of Crows and then Crooked Kingdom. Crooked Kingdom is my favorite of the two books. I love this book so, so much. And Six of Crows is actually tab and there are some highlights in it from when I reread it last year. I went through and I tabbed all of my favorite moments and tab like my favorite scenes and stuff. And then Crooked Kingdom. I have not reread it yet, but when I do, I will be tabbing and highlighting this copy. And of course, the sprayed edges are absolutely gorgeous. I love the bright red sprayed edges. It's just, it's so nice. And then I have the Crooked Kingdom Collector's Edition, which my boyfriend gave me for Christmas, which I'm so happy about. Like, just look how beautiful it is. Like, look at the spine and the back. Like, it's just so pretty and it has these really nice end pages on the front and then on the back and then at the back it actually has drawings of the characters like look like look at this like i love this so much like i just think it's so cool also the pages on this one like feel like like really nice and on the front there's also like this author note and it has black sprayed edges instead of red the six of crows collective edition has red sprayed edges which i still need to get but this is my favorite book out of the two so i'm so happy that my boyfriend gave me this for christmas because it's just so beautiful then i have caraval by stephanie garber which i have not read but i am very excited to get to this one then i have the invisible life of adela rue by v.e schwab which I was very disappointed by this book. I have a whole review of it on my channel, but yeah, I just had very high expectations for this book and I was just disappointed, but I'm not going to unhaul this one because my boyfriend actually bought it for me. Like he saw me looking at it at, in Target and he just bought it for me because he saw that I really wanted to read it. So yeah, I'm going to be keeping this copy forever, but yeah, I did not enjoy this book. Then I have The Star-Touched Queen by Roshni Chakshi. Then I have Flame in the Mist by Renee Adie. And I think this one's a Mulan retelling, which is why I bought this one because I thought that was so cool. I haven't seen any Mulan retellings and Mulan is one of my favorite Disney princesses. So I tried reading this one, but then I just couldn't get into it. Like, I don't think I was in the mood for it at the time, but I really want to get to this one. Then I have a few books by V.E. Schwab. I have this Savage Song, which is the first book in the Monsters of Verity duology, which I have not read. And then I have the first two books in the Shades of Magic series, A Darker Shade of Magic and A Gathering of Shadows. I really enjoyed this series, but I just never got around to reading the third book, which I do want to read. Then I have The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, which my sister got me for Christmas, and I'm very excited to read this one. And the last book I have on this shelf is The Diviners by Libba Bray, which again, I'm very excited to read this one. And I just think the covers for this series are gorgeous. Like there were like two or three cover changes, but I think I prefer these out of the other ones because I just think it's so cool. Like the neon colors, like these are just really pretty covers. And those are all the books that I have on this last shelf. And this is my second bookshelf. I'm not really happy with how this shelf actually looks like it's kind of a mess but i need somewhere to put all of my books at the top here i just have a bunch of stuffed animals from my childhood and then i have these little mermaid mickey ears i got at magic kingdom on my junior junior class trip i believe 
And then right here, I have this hanging plant that I got at Ikea. So this is my first shelf. I just have my Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. And for the trinkets, I have this mug that I got at Goodwill with some bookmarks in it. I have two of the original covers of the Percy Jackson series. I have the Battle of the Labyrinth and the Last Olympian. I'm missing the first three, but I am trying to collect all of the original covers. And then I have the new covers. I have the Lightning Thief, the Sea of Monsters, and the Titan's Curse, as well as the Battle of the Labyrinth and the Last Olympian. I love how the spines of all of these like connect to make this really cool landscape. Like I just think it looks so nice. And then at the end here, I have the actual box set that the books came in. I just thought it looked cool. And let me see what the other side looks like. It just it just looks like this. And yeah, it's just the box set. I just need it to fill up space a little bit. So this shelf just has more of my fantasy books and also some like dystopians. So for the trinkets, I have this Steve Funko Pop and this Eleven one from Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things, if you couldn't tell, so I have like a million Funko Pops. And then I have this little plant that I got at Ikea. It's like shoved in there, so I have to find something else to put on top there. I haven't read a lot of the books on this shelf, but the first one I have here is Zodiac by Romina Russell. Then I have Scythe by Neil Schusterman, which I am very excited to read. Then I have Unhooked by Lisa Maxwell, which is a Peter Pan retelling. The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Curry is a Aladdin retelling. Written in the Stars by Aisha Saeed. Everland by Wendy Spinelli, which is another Peter Pan retelling. The Archived by Victoria Schwab, which I enjoyed when I read it in like high school, but I never bothered finishing the series and I don't think I'm gonna get around to it. Then I have The Raven Cycle series by Maggie Stiefvater, The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily Lily Blue, and The Raven King. Then I have The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Then I have The Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins. This was an iconic dystopian series from like middle school. I really enjoyed this series but I actually never read Mockingjay. I had it on Kindle and I read the first like few chapters and then I, I'm pretty sure I just stopped but yeah I have all three books in hardcover. I didn't have the last book so I bought that one in hardcover and then I had the first one in paperback but I wanted them all to look the same so I bought them on hardcover and I bought them on Depop so that's why the spine on this one is like a little like worn in as you can tell and also for Mockingjay. It's just like a little faded but honestly I don't care. I just like having the complete series. Then I have Allegiant by Veronica Roth. This is the last book in the Divergent series. I don't have the first two books because I'm pretty sure that when I read them I just like borrowed my friend's copies so the only book I own is Allegiant. This was a good series but I don't see myself like finishing the series by like buying the rest of the copies because I just prefer the Hunger Games and Divergent just was not that good. And those are all the books that I have on this shelf. So sorry about the weird angle. I figured out a way to prop up my phone on like a bunch of chairs so that's why the angle is a bit weird. The first book I have here is Hamilton the Revolution which I have not read yet but I just think it's like really cool. It's basically a book that goes through all of the process of creating the Hamilton musical which is one of my favorite musicals so I do want to read this eventually but I've had it for like three years and I have not read it yet but I would like to. It's also just like a massive book and I don't know where else to put it so it just lives here. I'm just gonna name off a lot of these books because I have not read them. I have Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott, which has a beautiful cover. Sadie by Courtney Summers. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. And I actually watched this show because I didn't know it was a book, but the show was really, really good. So I can't wait to read the book. American Road Trip by Patrick Flores Scott. The Hundred Lies of Lizzie Lovett, which is actually the first and only book that I've won from those Goodreads giveaways. Room by Emma Donahue, which I bought at the Miami Book Fair and then I lost it for a bit and then I actually recently found it. I almost repurchased it, but I'm happy I found my original copy. Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas, which was a really good like murder mystery. I really enjoyed this one and the ending had me speechless. Looking for Alaska by John Green, which I read in like 
middle school or high school and I watched the TV show and I thought it was good, but it wasn't the best. Speak by Lori Hals Anderson, which was a required reading in I think my freshman year of high school if I'm not mistaken. The Help by Katherine Stockett, which is actually my sister's book. This was one of her required readings for high school, I believe. American Street by E.B. Zoboy. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, which I know is a classic, but I actually have not read it yet. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand, which I wanted to read this past Christmas, but I just completely forgot. And the last book I have on this shelf is The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd, and I bought this one at Goodwill, and I just thought- I just liked the title and the cover, so I thought it was really interesting, so I decided to pick it up. So this is my second to last shelf. I just have a Michael Scott Fancy Santa Funko Pop, Daryl Philbin, and then Jim Halpert from The Office. I love The Office, so I just have all these Funko Pops here. And for the books I have on this shelf, I'm not going to go through all of them, <laughs> because there's a lot and also they're not really that interesting like these are just books that were required readings for middle school and high school like it's a combination of my sister's required readings as well as mine so that's why it's like a bunch of random books and I also just have some random books that I read in like middle school and high school or books that I want to read like classics and stuff like that so yeah this shelf is just a combination of like required readings and books that I read in middle school and high school and just just some random books that didn't have anywhere else to go on my shelf so I just decided to put them all here. And this is my very last shelf. I just have some middle school and high school yearbooks over here so that's why I'm not showing them. And then here I just have Five Seconds of Summer, Hey Let's Make a Band, and then The Amazing Book is on Fire by Dan and Phil. I never at these but yeah I have them and then the rest of these books that I have here my dad gave to me so I have Henry Rollins Fanatic volumes 1 through 3 and here I just have some travel books I have Paris Argentina Belgium Holland and Luxembourg and Great Britain and then I just have a random word find here for some reason and then these are also more books that my dad gave me and then I have my wreck this journal from like middle school my planner from last year. I just have it here because I think it looks nice, I guess. <laughs> and then I have this notebook and another little notebook here. And then I just have my paperback copy of The Hunger Games because I do have it in hardcover. So I just have the paperback at the bottom here. So yeah, those are all the books that I have on this last shelf. It's just a bunch of like random books. There's no like organization or anything. I just wanted to fill up this shelf for some reason. So yeah, I just have all of these random books. So this is another shelf unit that I have that has some books on it. This one just has like a bunch of like photography stuff and then towards over there I have all my vinyl records and CDs and all that but I do have one little cubby here reserved for my graphic novels. So I just have this Minolta XGM 35mm camera which actually does not work. I bought it on OfferUp and the seller said that like it didn't work like the battery died and it just didn't work and it was only 15 bucks so I decided to still buy it and keep it as like a little decoration piece and I just think it looks really nice so yeah I have that there and then I have this little Frankenstein Squishmallow so the graphic novels I have at the back here are Diary of a Wimpy Kid I have a lot of these books because I loved this series as a kid and I actually met the author in the at the Miami Book Fair I believe and a lot of the books are actually signed so yeah a lot of these books are signed because I met the author and this is actually the first time that I met an author of a series that I really enjoyed and that was just such a special moment so I cherish these books so fun fact for the Dog Days movie I actually met Zachary Gordon and Robert Capron and they signed the movie poster so I have that as like another little memory so I was obsessed with Diary of a Wimpy Kid as a kid this is a, a classic so yeah I just think it's really cool that I met the author and two of the actors from one of the movies so that was also another really special moment and then at the front here I just have more graphic novels the first ones I have here are Heavy Vinyl Right on the Radio and Y2KO by Carly Uston these are my favorite graphic novels 
it basically follows these girls that work at a record shop and they're just like trying to fight the patriarchy basically and it was just so fun and I really enjoyed the art style in this like look how cool the art is like it's just so cute and so fun so yeah I'm really excited for volume 3 to come out because I really enjoyed this series it was so it was just so good and then I have Fence Volumes 1 through 3, so this is Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3, and I actually have not read these yet, but I'm very excited to get to them. And then I have Paper Girls Volumes 1 through 4, this one is Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4, and the art style is so so cool i can't wait to read these next i have bloom by kevin panetta and savannah ganu show and i loved this graphic novel it was so cute such a cute little romance and the art style in this one is really cool because it's instead of like grayscale it's like blue scale i guess like the colors are just so cool and i loved the art and this is a really cute story. And the last graphic novel I have is Sheets by Brenna Thumler, and I have not read this one either, but once again, the art style is so cute. Like, I just love all of, like, the bright colors and just the art style is so cool so I'm really excited to read this one. It just looks so cute. So those are all of my graphic novels. So I completely forgot to film an outro for this video, so here I am, like, <laughs> a few days later. I just filmed another video, so that's why I'm wearing the same outfit from that other video. That doesn't matter, but, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed watching my bookshelf tour. I know it was a bit long, but I do have a lot of books, so I really wanted to just show you guys, like, every single book that I had because I'm nosy and I like watching bookshelf tours when they're like super in-depth because I like looking at like all the covers and stuff. I had a lot of fun filming this video. I just love talking about all the books that I have because they just look like so nice and I'm so happy with how my shelves turned out. So yeah, I really enjoyed filming this video. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna wrap it up here because this video doesn't need to be any longer than it already is. So um, yeah, so thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!